to talk about the prevention and the control work and the medical treatment. And for this press conference, we invite the vice governor of the PBOC, Mr. Liang Tao, from the ACBIRC, and Feng Jun from the CSRC, and also the A director of the State Ministry of Foreign Exchange. They will talk about the mobilizing the financial system to give all our support to epidemic containment and production resumption. Now, first, I give the floor to the governor of a PBOC. Friends from the media, good morning. Um, for the journalists, they may see a lot of effort to bring the coverage from the front line of the epidemic. And I would like, on behalf of the PBOC, to say a heartfelt thanks to all of you. For PBOC, since the outbreak of the epidemic, we firmly implemented the instruction made by General Secretary Xi Jinping, and we always put our people at our core concern, and also make the a mobilizing the a resumption of production as our top priority and also work with other authorities, release a series of policies and measures to give a OR support to the enterprises for resuming the operation. For our last press conference, the PBOC has already introduced the illicits. And today I would like to talk more about the settlement, the currencies, and you can see the, uh, as well as the payment, uh, we can see the APBOC and also commercial banks have made a lot of efforts to support enterprises back to the work. First, we open the uh, green channels, make sure the a uh, granted fund can be received by the enterprises. So during the spring holidays, a lot of banks actually were in holidays. And for the uh, other requirement, and we open the, a, a small amount of payment to make sure the requirement can be saved. So for the total amount, it's up to 7.737 billion RMB and 827 related to the a epidemic control. For the cross-border payment, we also opened the A-Green channel to support and prices and the banks to make over seas payment. And we also extend the operation of a large amount of payment to make sure the interbanking settlement and also the relanding service requirement. For the a bank account service, we also open a great channel for the a companies. For the year-marked budget, the specific fund for the epidemic containment. We also conducted a work that the urgent case should be dealt first. And for the epidemic account that cannot go through the A process, so it can just start to work at first and then make the other process at a later stage. And we also will conduct the online settlement as well for the companies. And we also strengthen our liquidity and our cash management, make sure the cash can be used safely. For the hard hit regions such as Wubei City, we also give the special support. We give the cash around the 4 billion RMB to Wuhan. And also for the anti epidemic companies, we also give support enough cash support. And we also require PPOC and the commercial bank to give the a cash. And also conduct the ripple funds. And we also make sure the cash back to the a bank to make a good sterilization work. And also make the allocation within the provinces, especially for the hard heat regions, make sure there's no infections outside. And for the cash received, that should first go to the sterilization process, and then it can be released. So for the contact 
The fintech operation after the outbreak of the epidemic, we initiate our emergency response system and also have the uh, people at the key position. We have people operate on the position 24-7 and for the uh, charter fund, for the credit system, for the uh, accounting and editing system, for the uh, key financial instruments also operate normally and for the uh, security fund. Gold, all upper markets all operate normally, and I believe our financial system is resilient and can overcome the difficulties and for the financial institutions, and also have the standardized the process and also simplify the system of payment and settlement, and for the a. Also cut the a service fees for the a donation and also for the a charity association. And also, if the a fee is charged, we also refund the a full amount, and for the a QR code payment and also the a settlement, and also the a save the online service fee for the a fifteen commercial banks. Also free charge of the a service fee for donations and for the a Alipay also free of the service fee and also for the delivery platform, so we also no commission fee charge. The, a lot of party members and the uh, workers at the PBOC commercial banks, they devote themselves to give the full support of epidemic containment and also bring the, the uh, policies into implementation to make sure the uh, people can enjoy a normal operated financial services. Right now, we come to a crucial stage in terms of containing efforts. The PBOC will never let our people down, and we will earnestly implement the uh, policy arrangement of CBC Central Committee with Commerce. Xi Jinping and its call, and also implement the SRD measures in the financial sectors, and also support the enterprises back to the production with the right condition, and also mitigate the impact of epidemic on the economies and meet the target set by the State Council and CBC Central Committee on the social and economic sectors. Friends from the media, on behalf of the CBRC, for your long-term support uh, for our work since the outbreak of the epidemic, CBIRC is conscientiously implement the instructions made by General Secretary Xi Jinping and earnestly implement the arrangement decisions of CPC Central Committee and also do a good job to provide a service to the enterprises for them to back to the production and also help to win the battle against the novel coronavirus. We have done the following works. First, we strengthen the party leadership and the party committee in the CBIRC and also at the different levels firmly shoulder the responsibilities and put the epidemic control as our top priority and we earnestly implement all decisions and measures and also require the party leaders and members at all levels should rise to the challenges and shoulder the responsibilities and reject the more formalities and the bureaucratics. And we also firmly implement the policies and give policy to support the epidemic containment. Since the outbreak of the epidemic, a CBRRC taken a swift measures, and uh, since the uh, second day of the Chinese New Year, we already launched uh, several policies to strengthen the uh, financial services and also have the uh, uh, clear the laid out requirements. And we work with the uh, localities to release a strong financial support for the companies, and uh, we also have a differentiated credit support and help the uh, banking sectors to modify the, the uh, lending service and also the uh, KPI services and to better give the uh, support to the hard heat regions and also hard heat sectors such as wholesale retail, logistics, culture activities, uh, tourism, and also sectors with a promising future but with temporary difficulties posed by corona, 
novel coronavirus and also the a small and a macro enterprises. And we also extend their loan period and also lower the interest rate and increase the credit loan and also the mid and long term loans to support the companies resume the production and also mitigate the impact of an epidemic. As of February 14th, noontime, we provide credit. More than 537 billion RMB. First, we play our securing role for the insurance companies at all levels. We simplified our DA claim settlement process to make sure the claim can be settled in a faster pace, and we also lower DA standards. And we also give the, a free gift of insurance to the medics at the front line for the enterprises of anti epidemic supplies. We also provide the insurance products to these enterprises. So far, 35 insurance companies without increasing premium. They extend their accident insurance skill to the novel coronavirus and the 74 insurance companies has provided the service for free to the medics and their family members with a total amount of premium more than 900 million RMB. And we also improve the efficiency of our financial service, and we extend our service online to propel the bankings to work through app or mini app. And also open more channels and the scenarios for non-direct service. And we also uh, better arrange the a payment or extend the payment for mortgage or the credit card payment. And going forward, we will better implement the a plan made by CBC Central Committee and also stay united and the under the solidarity and the mutual assistance, we will conduct a scientific and a targeted measure, making sure we can provide a better service in terms of financial sectors. We are the warriors. And we should win the battle against the novel coronavirus and also provide a safeguard for other sectors. Friends from the media, good morning. On behalf of the CSRC, I would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to all the journalists for your long-term support and also for your interest in the capital markets. Since the outbreak of the COVID, the CSRC has earnestly implemented the instructions of General Secretary Xi Jinping and also decisions of the CPC Central Committee. And we do all our effort to support the financial sectors to against the coronavirus. On February 3rd, the bond market opened normally. The market had a lot of debate on the opening of the bond market when we heard the eight different suggestions and make decisions and based on the full picture. And our decision is we should open the bond market on February 3rd as planned. I believe this also showcases our responsibilities. And since the opening of the bond, it's the market play its own role. And the market operated in a stable way. That also reflects the cross-functional coordination and cooperation. A share market, I believe, that stand the test of the virus, and right now the markets operate in a well manner. Considering the impact imposed by the epidemic, and also the uh, liquidity issues and make sure we can mitigate the fluctuation to the market. And we also conduct the a extension of period. 
and we not required a close out of the a share bonds. Look at the whole market. The refinancing equity trading is stable. The overall the risk is under the control, and we also lead the traders who conduct the a non-field trading. Make sure there is no the a risk of the cross infections, and we also simplify the process of refinancing, and also give support case by case, and we also support the a companies to issue their corporate funds. Corporate bonds, and we also have Wuhan Zishui, Xiangyang Dongjing Guotou, through the green channels issued a 2.8 corporate bonds. I have 10 corporate bonds issued 11.23 billion RMB, and for the epidemic containment, and also have the two companies in Hubei province are approved to issue the corporate bonds, and we also have other bonds waiting to issue in the pipeline, and for the other private placement is also waiting for approval. As of February 12th, the equity and fund for startups. 46 projects with 10.5 billion RMB, and we also extend the period of the a service in terms of M and A, and we also have the a special arrangement on information disclosure, and also for. The companies that cannot reach the a risk management requirements and also can have the a lose requirement, and we also uh, the a free the a companies are hardly affected by normal coronavirus, free their service on futures, and also help them to raise funds to make them more resilient against the epidemic and for the listed companies. We also urge them to fulfill their social responsibilities. We give the guidance to the listed companies to do a good job on epidemic containment and also the a product resumption as well as fulfill their responsibilities. And we have the a lot of companies made donations more than 5 billion RMB, and also have the a medical companies listed. They speed up their production resumption. And for the logistic companies, they also play a key role, especially in delivering the medical supplies to the designated hospitals. Our next going forward, the CSRC will continue to earnestly implement the decisions and arrangement made by CBC Central Committee, as well as General Secretary Xi Jinping, and make our greater contribution to epidemic containment. And thank you all the journalists once again. Friends from the media, good morning. Since the outbreak of the novel coronavirus, SAVE has earnestly implemented the key instructions made by General Secretary Xi Jinping in numerous scenarios, and we also follow the arrangement of the interagency task force, and we have taken effective measures to give all out support to epidemic containment and production resumptions, we have done the followings. First, we open the green channel for the foreign exchanges and give the support of epidemic containment and also simplify the process of a donation imported and the cross-border refinancing and for the a foreign exchange authorities in Hubei and also other regions. We also make it a case-by-case working process. We have 1,370 transactions made as of February 12th, 14th, and we also have a lot of transactions made in Hubei as for the procurement of masks and the protective suits, and we also open the online channel and also other non-direct contacting channels to do the transactions.
For the A4 ring exchange surveys, it all can be done through our online surveys and platform. And you can also make your application online through the A Save. We have already received 476 applications out of that. 466 have already approved. For the A Normal Foreign Exchange Survey, so we also encourage a personal the uh, individuals to use our online surveys. And we have the 915,000 transactions done online, and out of that, 830,000 is online surveys. And also the, uh, deduct the uh, online transaction fees. Now the floor is open for questions. Please identify yourself before asking questions. With CCTV, my question regarding the A production resumptions. For the hard heat enterprises, what kind of matters we have to support them back to production? For the other regions, not that hard heated, what kind of matters we have in place? Thank you for your question. The banking sector have given differentiated support in a targeted manner to the hard hit regions and hard hit enterprises. We rearrange the credit structures. And we also not wantonly stop withdraw loans to the enterprises. And we also have policies to reduce or free the fees. The CBRC also conduct research in this regard and also have policies in the pipelines. And we will also release a series of policies very soon. We not only focusing on the companies hard hit it, I will also include the other companies. Going forward, we will do the following. First, for the uh, private companies, especially the small and the micro size, we will help them to the, uh, increase their skill or the uh, scope, and especially the scope of credit, and help them to lower the impact made by the epidemic, and also help them to lower the cost, and also f lower the cost for the inclusive loans given to the SMEs. And the third, we also focus on SMEs and to look at into the details on their financial needs and also simplify, simplify our process to issue the loans. And also, we will do a good job on the how to mitigate the liquidity pressure on the SMEs. So we will also do a good job to renew the loans for SMEs. And we will also continue to do a good job in risk management, like the SMEs still would like to get loans from us. I believe this is very important. For the banking sector, is are hard hit by epidemic, and we will also the case by case to look at their NPL. And for the a production resumption, we uh, got the a banking sector to enlarge the a credit support for the companies, uh, make sure their credit loans and medium and long term loans can increase the proportion and make sure their refinancing can stay at a reasonable range. For companies, when they back to the production, they may face some difficulties in procuring the new equipment. And we will also enlarge our support in financing part. And we also got the ACBIRC and also the banking sectors to modify the KPI and for the manufacturing sectors, private sectors, SMEs, in key sectors. 
we will also include them into our KPI consideration or the modified the a KPI proportion on the performance. So that is also a good way to encourage the companies back to work. And we also will intensify our efforts in the a financial support and especially our work on the counter-cyclical financial support. And we will give the more policies to increase the RMB bond insurance and also modify the regional financial restructures, especially give a great support to the mega or big projects. And second, we studied how to better promote the enterprises to get more involved in the a big project and how to refinance all these big products and force. We talk about how to release the a potentials and also encourage people to con to do a consumptions for the hard heat sectors such as wholesale, retail, cultural sectors, tourism, logistics service. We will also develop the a credit products and make sure that we have seen a larger consumption on goods and also improve the facilitation and the liberalization. Thank you. Right now, we are at a critical juncture of epidemic containment. Based on the arrangement of a state council and CDC Central Committee, we SAVE also studied in details and also released requirements on production resumption. Shouldering the responsibilities, the SAVE will do a good job to maintain the social order and also give support to the companies. We open the a foreign exchange green channels to the companies for the a trade activities stopped because of the epidemic or the a goods that should be export or import and also for the a foreign exchange services and we help to simplify the process and also speed up our processing process and make sure the foreign exchange activities come back to normal situation and also give more support to the activities in Hubei province. And we also the fully implement the 12 measures in facilitation liberalization of foreign exchange activities. And we have the SMEs, cross-border transaction fee, and also simply simplify the reporting mechanism. And we also have the a pilot projects in terms of the a foreign exchange, the transactions, and we also have the other six, the investment and the financing services. So we can see that help to save the cost of the high count and time and we further improve the a foreign the, the doing business environment in China based on the actual need of epidemic containment and the production resumption we will further speed up our efforts in the 12 measures especially give our focus to hard heat sectors industries private companies and SMEs third we use fintech to help the SMEs, the cross-border transactions and settlement. First, we beef up the construction of the blockchain. Last March, we started our DA pilot projects on the cross-border blockchain that's already rolled out to the 22 cities and also refinance and giving the funds around 115.9 billion US dollars, 75% for the private sectors. And we service the 
87 services and Hubei actually also in our surveys for the SMEs in Hubei province, they will also receive more provincial services in terms of facilitation for their cross-border foreign exchange activities. For the a payment settlement, we will also give the guidance to the banks, the a payment institutions to provide the a service to save their time for the cross-border payment and settlement, especially the a under their current accounts. And we also encourage the individuals to do their foreign exchange use our online platform. With Nikkei Sinbun. So the epidemic actually have brought a big impact on the small and the macro enterprises. So what kind of the policies we have and what's your take in this regard? Thank you for your question. Your question actually involves three big areas. We talk about the supervising indicators or the rules. Are quite stable, and that is the lowest standard for DEA liquidity, and that will not change according to the changes happened in the bigger environment. At a certain time period, especially there's a and the unexpected changes in the environment, the a banks may face a pressure on how to hit the targets. For the regulatory authorities, CBIRC will also take the a, all the regions into considerations and we will also make a reasonable decision to give some flexibilities to the a banking sectors. My question to Mr. Yan, you mentioned that we release a whole bunch of policies. So what is next? What kind of policies we will release to let the financial market to stabilize the capital market? We talk about the reform on the registration system. So we talk about against the background of epidemic, whether all these reform will be changed. The CSRC followed the instruction made by CBC Central Committee and also followed the guidance of the Central Leading Group on Disease Prevention and Control, have already released the policies to give all our support to epidemic containment. Going forward, we will continue our work, especially on February 12th. The General Secretary Xi Jinping also made a new requirement um, combating the COVID. I believe that the a financial sectors will play a stronger role to support the economic target. Now first, we make sure the a market can operate in a stable manner. Well, we also closely monitor the a market operation and also work with other authorities 
to mitigate the pressure on the bond or the a security market to mitigate the risk, make sure the market can operate normally, and also let the a reform opening up, the a deepen reform and the a stabilizing market can be strengthened at both time, and also increase the market resilience. Second, we also like the market to play a bigger role, as you just asked, whether all these reforms will be impacted. And actually, we would like to normalize IPO and also reflect the needs of the market, and we'll also keep our reform on M&A and also enrich the tools for refinancing and also support the enterprise for upgrading and also let the financial institutions to play a greater role and also release more products. Let the a future market also play a role in this regard. And also for the companies facing the uh, increasing costs of the raw materials, or the equipment, and you can see actually in our future market, a lot of companies already uh, cite a good example in this regard. And we also let the a uh, private placement to place role, and also encourage more private placement to play a role in the medical supply in terms of the vacancy, the keys, the reagent. And the third, we also should look into the details on how to better implement the decisions already in place. And we work with other five ministers to study the real situation and also open the a refinancing uh, great channels for the companies to resume the, their production for companies in Hubei province, especially for the productions for anti-epidemic supply production. We look at their IPO, the a bond, the insurance, and the IPO, and we will also give the top priority to those companies in Hubei. And yesterday, CSR has already released a new set of rules on refinancing make sure that the financial sectors in terms of a bond security futures can play its role and give a better support to the hard heat region. And we will also do a good job in deepening reform. Epidemic is just a short time period impact. I believe for the long term, fundamental will not be changed. And for the financial sector, we'll continue our work on deepening reform and make sure all the A measures can be implemented. And we are focusing on five sectors. First, we focus on the multi-layered financial sectors so that it means that we focus on the science and technology innovation board and encourage more scientific technologies to be listed on this board and we also make sure the other the a three boards can make a policy innovation and the second we also focus on the IPO normalization and also the bring the refinancing policies in action and also help the illicit companies to improve their quality and efficiency and also improve the quality of information disclosure. And we also have the new the security law in place and make sure we will also have the corresponding rules and regulations for implementation and we should better utilize the legal system to make sure no one can't afford to break the law. And we also encourage the publicly offered funds to get better get involved. The, especially for the pension funds, they can play its role in the public offered funds. Economic Daily, a question to Mr. Fan for the use of cash. So there's a rumor going on is the cash may carry virus. And how we make sure people can use their cash in a safe or hygiene way. 
the virus actually help the people better notice the convenience of mobile payment. So going forward, how we can better utilize the online payment to support people's daily life. Thank you for your questions. And people may have a concern about the using of a cash. We paid a great attention in this regard and also released some measures in this regard. And first, we have the supply of new caches. Before January 17th, PBOC had allocated 600 billion and 40 billion RMB to Hubei so that the people increase their sense of security when they're using cash. And we also allocate the cash in a reasonable way. We stop the a cash allocation across province, make sure there is less mobility of people and also less opportunity of cross infections. And make sure all the cash back to the bank should be go through the sterilization process for the cash going out uh, should be the uh, newly printed caches and for the uh, cash coming back from the farm markets uh, should back to the PBOC and go through the sterilization that should not be used temporarily and also give the a notice and also the guiding principles in this regard and requiring the commercial banks and private banks to conduct differentiated prevention and control, make sure the cash can be used in a safer manner. For the hard hit regions, and we also use the ultraviolet manners to do the, the sterilization work. And they should be also stocked for seven days before using again. I believe all these measures are effective. Make sure people have no concerns about the cash they are using. Talking about our next step and how to better speed up the work in terms of a payment. In the recent three years, the mobile payment the growth rate is 83.5 percent. And in terms of amount, it's increased at 39 percent. We can see the online or the mobile payment developed very fast. We talk about the a non touching the a vegetable delivery and fruits. So the a individuals just make orders online, and that will be delivered to their communities. And going forward, we will release the a measures in this regard. Make sure the a mobile banking apps or system can provide all weather around the clock services. And we also help to do the online payments and the other DA service would like to be enriched. And we also conduct a, a bill checking services. My question going to save. There's quite uh, uncertainties in the international environment. So what's the situation of the international balance of payment? In the recent years, the balance of payments quite stay at a normal and stable stage. It also reflects that the a effect of the a reform and open up taken in China. I believe the international balance of payment will not that easily be infected by epidemic. So for the current account, Convertibility that also in the 
a normal stage, the a surplus versus the GDP in a reasonable range. Yes, so it has released the number in the last year. Based on a preliminary account, the surplus of uh, is 177.5. The ratio to GDP is 1.2. The uh, reform and opening up going smoothly in a well-managed order, and also we have a quite stable cross-border liquidity and an unimpeded flow of cash. We have the a solid foundation to make sure the international balance of payment can stay at a reasonable range, and we will maintain a surplus. Reflects in the following: manage the areas are managing. Manufacturing sectors is in a well structure, and also China US reached a phase one agreement, which was also conducive to the a bilateral trade as well as global trade. That also the a laid a solid foundation for the international trade, and the also witnessed the upgrading of consumption. That does show the strength of soft power in China. I believe that it will also continue. Third, the a construction. Of payment also modified, and the force right now we look at the saving rate is still about forty percent. That's ranking the top places around the world. The a current account payment also help fall to remain in the feasible range. The epidemic only can impact a short time period that will not. Uh, Impact our long-term fundamental of the national economy. For the FDI, will still the uh, in a surplus, and will also still be a good destination for overseas investors, and will also have a quite a good flow of overseas investment. And for the foreign central governments, they always have the a uh, RMB reserve. And we also have the a uh, foreign loans because the a uh, foreign credit is keep increasing the a uh, sec securities and bonds in RMB, and we talk about two-way flows. The uh, individuals, the companies, is more rational in the. Uh, Foreign exchange transactions. The epidemic change not really impact the bigger picture or the landscape of the international balance of payment, which means our market is quite mature. Oil under the a complex situation overseas, we still can reflect a quite stable and resilient balance of payment, which can say that we have a quite good solid foundation for us. To continue this momentum, and we have all the confidence to stay strong and stand the test of the fluctuation. I've seen the media coverage talk about the epidemic actually. Had a big impact to the IPO and M&A. That's a sharp decrease in numbers. And what's the measures you have in this place? And what's your plan going forward? Since the outbreak of epidemic, indeed, for the due diligence and the other evaluation work, had a certain impact. Therefore, in the recent days, we had a special arrangement for the issuers. We extend the time period for them to make a response. We ourselves also make some flexibility in time frame. And that also apply to M&A. We talk about three normalization. That's the IPO normalization and also document insurance. And the second is the approval process should be normalized. And third, the also the approval work for MNA. Uh, 
This is China Daily. At this special time period, I feel the public may have some concerns for their personally going to the bank to do some financial service. So what's the special arrangement the banks or the insurance companies have to protect the individuals when they're doing the business? And right now, actually, you can see a lot of DA mobile payments, DA mean way. And also, what kind of the financial structures we have in place to support the a information system that can operate in a normal situation? To answer your first question, facing this unexpected epidemic, indeed, people have some concerns on doing the uh, financial service on site. So what we have made is we have an innovative way to fulfill people's need in accessing financial service. We have done the following. First, we recently arranged a bank's working hours the uh, banking sectors and insurance companies, based on the needs of the epidemic, we had a range a working hours of the banks. For the banks or insurance companies, if they stop, were cannot open, and they will make a announcement to the public ahead of time. And also for the banks and insurance companies, they should do a good job in the disinfection. Uh, especially for the ATMs and other machines. And also they should show the problems once they happened in the ATM, make sure ATM can operate 24-7, and also make sure we have an unimpeded service provided at the banks and insurance companies. For example, we use online banks or the WeChat banks and other payment platforms. So we will release more products online and also improve the online functions. Uh, make sure all these uh, services uh, operate around the clock, make sure the a uh, less service conducted offline and that's also how to mitigate the cross infections so they can stay at home and also to do their financial transactions and also encourage the uh, people to apply for loans or make transactions, make payments, or check their balance, or check the bills, or pay the salaries. And that's just also to mitigate the cross infections possibilities. Based on the CBRC, the online surveys reached 96%. Insurance companies also practically, practically develop the uh, services online so they can renew their policy or to renew or apply the new premium. And it's also provide a one-stop service to the customers. And also the online service is the same as the face-to-face -face service. And third, we also improve the uh, personal banking services, especially for the medics on the front line and uh, medical staff in the medical institutions, and also for the uh, credit card payment they cannot pay on time, especially for the medical personnel. So we also extend their payment period and. That's not impact their credibility, and it also give some flexibility in the mortgage payment, the credit card payment for the institutions of insurance for the patient with epidemic, and we will make the a insurance settlement in a faster speed, and have pneumonia also included in the scale of policy, and we will also extend the scope 
of the hospitals on the insurance list. And we're also growing uh, channels for donations and uh, make sure all these donations will not be stopped and it also can be settled in the faster speed for the account specifically for epidemic containment that will also free from charging. Last two questions. Um, this is a, both a supply shock and a demand shock for the Chinese economy and will inevitably lead to inflation pressures. What is the PBOC going to do to make sure that consumer inflation doesn't spike and it also doesn't affect producer inflation? And my second question is about non-performing loans. Um, <clears throat> there's a, inevitably going to be an increase in non-performing loans across the economy. Um, what is the role of the government and what is the government going to do to make sure that that doesn't lead to bankruptcies and unemployment? and also damage the banking system. Thank you. Thank你好。我的问题是问范行长的。当前因为受疫情的影响,在供应侧和供给侧和需求侧都会有极大的压力,这是否会带来通胀方面的压力。中国人民银行将会采取什么样的措施来保证通胀不会激增,同时不仅
to enlarge the insurance responsibilities and also give the insurance free to the medics on the front lines. I will not go into details. Insurance companies in general lower the standard of the settlement of claims and also shorten the time for them to wait to receive the claims and also we enlarge a proportion of claims. And we also use our online platform to give the a prepayment of claims in a swift manner. As you mentioned for your first question, for the a beneficiaries, they provide account information. They can receive the claim on the same day when they make the settlement of claim approval. For the patient in quarantine, we will also give the a prepayment. For the details, I would like to ask the a individuals to make a phone call to the different insurance companies because different insurance companies have different policies. As for your second question, we talk about the a personal insurance that basically cover the cross-life insurance products. The medical expenses Besides the a national budget, the out of pocket out of pocket part actually paid by the central budget, which means the a patient already be guaranteed. And we also suggest the consumers to buy the insurance products that can cover the a larger amount of the expenses. So they can buy the insurance products such as a critical illness or life insurance. Your third questions regarding that some insurance companies right now launch some the products regarding the COVID. Right now, we don't have a ground for pricing in order to better protect the legitimate rights and interests of our consumers. The CBIRC not allowed the insurance companies to launch the relevant policies. With single security for the existing insurance products already extended their scope of the settlement of claim and so the consumers can go to check their products in place and also ask the uh, more questions to different insurance companies. And we also ask the uh, insurance companies do whatever they can to give the uh, insurance product free to the medics. And we also strengthen our work in regulatory efforts, make sure the insurance company can deliver their role and also make the payment on the claims and also enrich the products and provide a better insurance premium and policies to the consumers. This afternoon at 2 o'clock, we will have another press conference to talk about the prevention and control work on post-holiday transportation. Thank you all.